welcome everyone here today for, with GCC and my colleagues for uh, Power to the People. And we normally open it up with the word of prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, we come this morning thanking you for power to the people. God, we know that this issue is one, and it will be one, and you will make us winners in this. God, we ask that you continue to carry us and give us strength that we may go forth. Bless all of us as we go forth. Strengthen us as we go forth. God, we thank you for the power to the people, and we thank you that you have given us power, strength, and love of a strong mind. We ask this in the master's name of you, God. We thank you, and the whole congregation said, Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. My, morning. Name, my name is Reverend Dr. Lisa Maxine Woods. I am the proud pastor of the historic Shiloh Baptist Church in Cleveland, Ohio. Let me start again. Amen. <laughs> I am the Reverend Dr. Lisa Maxine Good, Senior Pastor of the Historic Shiloh Baptist Church located in Cleveland, and I am the co-chair of GCC's Battle for Democracy and member of the strategy team. Woo! We are here today because the, in the state of Ohio, issue one is a threat to democracy. Right. Yes, it is. Yes, it we is. represent 37 congregations who represent over 40,000 constituents of this great state of Ohio. And as faith leaders, we realize that all of our faith traditions teach us that all people are created equal, that we are created with this inalienable right, and that is what our Constitution says, that all of our votes are equal. But issue one seeks to threaten that. Issue one says that the votes of politicians are more important than the votes of the people. But politicians were elected to represent the people. That's right. And, and so we are here because GCC says no to issue one because 50 to 60 percent of our votes is not equal. When the people can have to have a super majority yes, and yes. politicians need only a simple majority, this is not democracy. Right. This is not equality. And, and the most sacred right in our Constitution is one person, one vote. Yes. And, and this issue seeks to take that away. And when that was not so for women, women fought during suffrage. When it was not true for African Americans, people fought during civil rights. And so we stand together as people of faith to say no to this unjust system that seeks to destroy democracy in the state of Ohio and in this nation. We say that there should be power to the people and not to the politicians. Yeah. And so as we move forward, we will talk about our history, we will talk about our legacy, but we will say power to the people and not to the politicians. Thank you, Reverend Dr. Goods. Shalom. Hello. Rabbi Josh Caruso of Anche Chesed Fairmount Temple, a founding institution of Greater Cleveland Congregations. In this town, nothing is given. Since the inception of Greater Cleveland Congregations, more than 12 years ago, our victories have been hard fought, hard won. Medical expansion, providing health care during a pandemic, 
launching a crisis diversion center to restore those challenged by mental health and addiction. All of these efforts did not come easy, but they had one thing in common. We worked to restore the dignity of the citizens in Northeast Ohio. Defeating issue one is no different. Its architects seek to strip our given rights to vote as a people with a simple majority. And that is why, for the very first time, GCC is making its voice heard on a statewide issue. The Jewish tradition teaches, be careful in your dealings with the ruling authorities for they do not befriend a person except for their own needs. Yes, they I seem guess. like friends yes. when it is in their own interests, yes. but they do not stand by a man in the hour of his distress. Wow. Folks, the ruling yeah. authorities in Columbus, Ohio, insist that they have ordered this costly special election on August 8th in the interests of the citizens of Ohio to protect our Constitution. Folks, nothing could be further from the truth. It is our duty to ensure that all voters can safely and freely cast ballots so that every voice is heard and our elections reflect the will of the people. Vote no on issue one. It's a vote to uphold our country's democratic principles. We must protect our democracy, restore the dignity of every citizen, and win the battle at the polls. Politicians have power, but people should have power too. The people who vote those individuals into power need to seize their power on August 8th. Vote no on issue one. Ryan Wallace, senior pastor of Fairmount Presbyterian Church, and we are proud members of Greater Cleveland Congregation. As a Presbyterian, I'm proud to be part of a spiritual tradition with democracy at its foundation. When my church makes decisions on important issues, we vote. One member, one vote, majority rules. And that's how it should stay in Ohio. We Presbyterians also pride ourselves on being decent and in order, being a law-abiding people who respect our civic leaders, who pray for them and work with them, but we place our obedience to God above our obedience to any human authority. Our church confessions teach that we must strive against and witness against all the powerful and privileged who selfishly seek their own interests and thus seek to control and to harm us. And that's what's happening in Ohio right now. Our state legislators are using their power and privilege to selfishly seek their own interests, to control ordinary people like us and take away our ability to make moral decisions for ourselves. And they are intentionally holding this special election in August in an attempt to pull one over on voters. Mm. Jesus warned us this would happen, that those in positions of authority would try to exploit us, but he said, that's not the way it will be with you. He said, whoever wants to be great among you will be your servant. We believe in servant leadership. If our elected officials in Ohio truly want to serve us, the voters, then they should let us make our own decisions about constitutional amendments. And so I stand in solidarity with my colleagues here today and with thousands of people of faith from our 37 GCC congregations who are going to turn out in droves on August 8th Amen. to vote no. GCC, if we turn out to vote no this August, we will stop this power grab. Power to the people, not just politicians.
neighborhood captains. You might be asking yourself, what is the significance of neighborhood captains? As neighborhood captains, we reach out to our neighbors. How? We make personal calls, canvas, text, and work on election day in five Cleveland neighborhoods and five surrounding suburbs. Our goal is to build meaningful, long-term relationships with our neighbors. As we push to have our collective voices heard together, we have spoken with our neighbors who feel suppressed, meaning low propensity voters who feel there is too much red tape to meet their qualifications to vote. As one voter said to me, I do not want to go through the hassle in order to vote and hear myself heard. As another voter said, as well as a voter who is depressed, and they are depressed, they have lost faith, so they don't vote at all. This issue was another example of suppressing and depressing our propensity voters in our neighborhoods. As the neighborhood captain coordinator, along with my fellow neighborhood captains, we will not just sit back and allow issue one to pass. That's it right. ain't gonna happen, on. not on our watch. Right. Some of you think this is a joke. Trust and believe me, it is not. The Union of Concerned Scientists released a report that shows how effective our model is with our infrequent voters. Our strategy has brought results. We, can, we want our base of voters to know and see one vote can make a difference. We can determine the outcome. Our neighborhood captains are ready, willing, and prepared for the politicians' hidden agenda, which is right. trying to sneak issue one in the August 8th election right. on us with the un unapologetic intent of trying to sabotage our rights. The devil is a lie. We will not give our power. I am voting no on issue one. I'm taking my neighbors to vote for issue one. I'm asking my family to vote for issue one. We are neighborhood captains. Come join us. Power to the people, not only politicians. Power to the people, not only politicians. So, you have heard from our leaders, uh, but at this time, we want to call you to action. You've heard what we have to say, uh, but if we come to call you, to action. And so we call upon voters as we start our election process today to vote no on issue one. The polls open today for early voting. You can vote at the Board of Elections, but you can also vote early through mail-in ballots. And we are recommending our voters to vote via the mail-in ballot because many of you have, have not had the opportunity to get the proper ID. And the ID laws are another attempt at, at suppressing the vote. And so we have a vote by mail applications here today. People are, are ready and willing to give these to you so that you can vote. We are, are ready and willing to work for the democracy. We will not stop. We cannot stop. That's right. And I will say, in this 50th anniversary of hip hop, we Come must say we will fight, fight. the power. the Christ who turned over tables of those who were unjustly exploiting the people. We will overturn the tables that seek to disenfranchise Ohioans. We will fight the power. Fight the power. We will fight the power and give power back to the people and not just the politicians. Thank you, Reverend Dyke. I'm John Lentz, pastor of the Forest Hill Church Presbyterian. 
in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. I am the president of Greater Cleveland Congregation and president of the strategy team. You know, issue one, issue one and what the Republican-led legislature is pushing in Cleveland is undemocratic, yes. it is unfaithful, yes. and it is immoral. Yes. Yes. So we say shame on you shame for on you. seeking to misuse your power. Shame on you for seeking to manipulate and deceive the citizens of Ohio. Shame on you shame for on seeking you. to amass power at the expense of the people. We know the prophets of Israel were very clear. Those in leadership positions shouldn't take advantage of the people. That's, That's right. right. And we knew Jesus was very clear condemning the leaders and practices of his day, right. calling them whitewashed tombs. We the people are lifting up our voice and we are speaking clearly. Yeah. You will not manipulate us. Yeah. We have voices and we are making our choices. Yeah. And we are going to the polls, yes. and we're yes, going to we defeat are. issue yes. one. Yes. And the people will rise up, yes. and we are going to restore sanity yes. Yes. to our legislative yes. homes. So I'm telling you people down in Columbus, don't get too comfortable on your soft couches. You have sown the wind, and you're going to reap the whirlwind. Yes. Now get out and vote, and let's pray. God of justice, God of power and might, we ask you for a blessing upon the state of Ohio this day. We ask that your Holy Spirit turn the hearts of stone of some of our legislators into hearts of flesh. We trust it is your will that Ohio be a state where all your children feel safe and where all your children have the right to cast their vote. Right. And all your sons and daughters and siblings can have their voices heard. And the powerful do not abuse their power. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray that the narrow waves of injustice become broad paths of welcome. We pray that the attempts to build steep impediments against democracy come crashing down and from the great lake up north to the ohio river down south from the appalachian hills in the east to the wide prairies in the west let the voice of the people be heard no on issue one and lord what we pray for enable us to work for so that thy will be done and let the people of god say amen, amen.